A number of celebrities and athletes came out this year as LGBT or non-binary. This video highlights some of them. This is the fourth video in my series on people who are out and proud. Please check out the first three videos if you haven't already. Stay tuned. Bolu Okupe is a 27-year-old Nigerian fitness model and bodybuilder. Bolu came out publicly on Instagram in January. His caption read, yes, I'm gay AF. His father, Do Yen, a politician in Nigeria, responded by saying, he knows that as a Christian, I am opposed to homosexuality as it runs contrary to the avowed precepts of my Christian faith. However, his Christian faith did not prevent him from embezzling money. And we're talking millions. You can follow Bolu on Instagram and you can subscribe to his YouTube channel. Ronan Rubenstein is an Israeli-American actor, writer, and director best known for his roles on Orange is the New Black, which I love that show, and 911 Lone Star. In 911, he starred as an openly gay firefighter. Rubenstein came out as bisexual in an interview with Variety magazine in April. And this is the actor that he's in a relationship on Lone Star. Hugh Sheridan is an Australian actor and musician most known for his role as Ben Rafter in the TV series Packed to the Rafters. Last year, Sheridan came out as bisexual. This year, they came out as non-binary. They are in a relationship and was engaged to their boyfriend in March. Kieran Lovegrove is a minor league baseball player. At 17, he received a 400,000 signing bonus from a baseball team right out of high school. In September, he spoke to ESPN about the poor conditions minor leaguers play under, and he also opened up about being bisexual. T.J. Osborne is the lead vocalist in the country rock duo Brothers Osborne. The band has received seven Grammy nominations. T.J. came out in a Time Magazine article in February and posted a video on his Instagram. Here is a snippet. And, and honestly, it's, it will help my relationship with myself. And um, I just wanted to thank everyone for the support. And I love y'all. Shortly after coming out, Tennessee lawmakers blocked the passage of a state resolution to honor him. How heartbreaking. Um, TJ deserves all the love and praise from the country community and his home state of Tennessee. Sean Bennett, who has been a WWE referee since April 2013, came out as gay on National Coming Out Day this year. He received an outpouring of love and support from the wrestling community and fans. This year, wrestlers came out in droves and hopefully more will come out as a result of the rainbow wave. You can follow Sean on Instagram. 18-year-old Cameron Caskey is a gun violence activist who co-founded a student-led gun violence prevention advocacy group. Caskey is the survivor of the 2018 mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. I meant to say Marjorie. <laughs> he helped organize the March for Our Lives, the nationwide student protest march in March 2018. He came out as queer in September on Instagram. Irish pro rugby player Jack Doon came out as bisexual during Pride Month during a Zoom panel organized by his team and on the BBC LGBT Sport Podcast. Luke Prokop is a Canadian ice hockey player on the Edmonton Oil Kings team. 
He is a prospect for the Nashville Predators in the NHL, who selected him in the 2020 NHL Entry Draft. He came out as gay on Twitter in July. Luke posted a heartwarming National Coming Out Day post on Twitter as well. Congratulations to Luke for coming out. Cameron Saturn is a 21-year-old professional wrestler with the New Wave Pro company in the Midwest. He came out as bisexual during Pride Month. You can follow him on Twitter and on Instagram. Eighteen-year-old TikTok star and model Olivia Ponton came out as bisexual during Pride. Seeing Jojo Siwa come out inspired her to come out. Currently, she's dating a UCLA soccer player. Dream Doll is a 29-year-old rapper from the Bronx. She was a cast member on Bad Girls Club, Social Disruption, and a supporting cast member on Love & Hip Hop New York's eighth season. On Instagram, she revealed that she was proud to be bi. Mae Martin is a Canadian-born comedian, actor, and writer based in England. They wrote and starred in the Netflix series Feel Good. Martin came out publicly as non-binary and uses the pronouns they, them, and she, her. I haven't watched Feel Good, but it's on my to-watch list. I'm really excited about this series. Roxon represented Romania for Eurovision 2021. The Eurovision star came out as non-binary on a TikTok chat with fans. They said they have always felt like a boy in a girl's body. Congratulations to them for coming out this year. Do any of you watch Eurovision? I'm actually getting into it and there are a lot of people from the LGBT community who have participated in the singing competition. Who did you learn about for the first time? Who's coming out shocked you? Who did you fall in love with? And who will you follow on social media? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, like and share the video. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.